Today we are going to study about limiting reactant. Now when a reaction ends up and when one of the reactant is all used up, this reactant that is completely used up first is called the limiting reactant. It is sometimes also known as limiting reagent. So the amount of product formed during a reaction is determined by the limiting reactant. Steps to find the limiting reactant. Number one, balance the chemical equation. Number two, convert to moles. Number three, use stoichiometry for each reactant to find the mass of the product. The reactant that produces the least amount of product is the limiting reactant. Now this third process is somewhat a lengthy process where we have to use the stoichiometry of each reactant to find the mass of the product. So in order to do a faster method, what we do is after step two, we divide the number of moles of the reactant by their coefficient. The reactant with least value is the limiting reactant. Finally, we use the limiting reactant to find out the amount of product formed. Let us understand it with the help of an illustration. Now in this illustration, we have four bodies of motorcycle. We have 12 wheel and we have four outcome of that is four motorcycle. So in this illustration, we see that the limiting uh, parts to manufacture a motorcycle is the motorcycle body. So the limiting agent in the above example are the motorcycle body, which decides how many motorcycle we can make. Just like a limiting reagent the, or the reactant will decide the amount of product formed. So the wheels are in excess. Limiting reactant are 100% consumed during the reaction. So it will be completely used up because it is less in amount. I hope you understood this illustration. Let's do one numerical to understand limiting reagent further. So we will try to do the second faster method. So it will become, we can finish it much faster. So uh, the question is, 2.00 gram of sample of ammonia is mixed with 4.00 gram of oxygen which is the limiting reactant ammonia or oxygen and how much of NO is formed so according to the process the step the first step that we have to follow is to balance the equation so let's write down the equation first so we can balance it so NH3 plus O2 will give you NO plus H2O. So let's balance it. Suppose we make five oxygen over here. So it's 10. So let's make four over here and six. So that's 10 and then four nitrogen. So here also it will be four nitrogen. So your equation is balanced. Second step is convert to moles. Now we have to convert the mass of the samples into moles. So in order to convert, let's take the mass of ammonia first, 2.00 gram of ammonia divided by 17 gram per mole. This is the molar mass of ammonia of NH3. So this will be equal to about 0 0.117 mole of NH3. So we can underline it over here. 0 0.117 mole of NH3. Next is the second product that is oxygen. That is mole of oxygen. So according to the equation 4 point let's make it black so we'll be equal 4.00 gram 
divided by this is the molar mass of oxygen 32 gram per mole of O2 will give you 0 0.125 mole of O2. So we can underline it now. So this is the mole of O2. Now, let's take the black ink here. Yeah. So what do we find out? We find we have now got the moles. Now the next process is we write down the coefficient, naturally coefficient of NH3 is 4 and oxygen is 5 and divide the moles with the coefficient. So let's do that. So this is the mole of, uh, let's write down the uh, equation so it would be clearer. 5O2 will give you 4NO plus 6H2O and 4A. So let's divide the with the coefficient. So number of moles divided by coefficient. So number of moles of NH3 is 0 0.117 divided by 4. So the coefficient is 4. And oxygen is 0 0.125. So 0 0.125 divided by coefficient 5. And we get as 0 0.0 294 NH3 and 0 0.025 for oxygen. So the least or the smallest value or the minimum value is of oxygen. So this is the limiting reactant. So the least value which has the least value is the limiting reactant. Now we will be using the limiting reactant to find the product according to the question how much NO is formed. To find out the amount of NO we have to use the LR. So to find out amount of product in grams we have to find the amount of NO in grams. So let's do that. So this process here we have done in the previous lessons if you want if you're not sure you can check that process to find out the moles by using the LR so here what do we find out we can take X as we are using the LR that is oxygen and Y we have to find out the product that is of NO a small a is coefficient of oxygen that is 5 and small b is coefficient of NO that is 4. So now 0 0.025 moles this was the LR moles of O2 into 4 by 5 will give us 0 0.02 mole of NO. So now we have got the moles of NO by using the LR. Now we have to convert the moles to gram. So let's convert the mole to gram. 0 0.02 mole that we have just got. We multiply by the molar mass of NO that is 30 gram per mole. So 0 0.02 mole multiplied by 30 gram per mole of NO and we get the value of it gives you equals to 0 0.6 gram. So we have got the product value that is 0. 6 
gram that's the final answer i hope you have understood it students if you like my videos like my lessons you can understand them please please subscribe because it encourages me to prepare make more videos thank you